Okay, so we're moving on to the next stage of vine growth and you can see there what looks like a bunch of very small grapes. So we've gone from flowering to catfall to berry set and now we're into uh, we're getting towards bunch closure, still a fair way to go when the grapes get bigger and the gaps between them get smaller. As you can see here we're um, we've got quite a bit of growth coming out in the vines. I'll look the other way, away from the sun. Um, at this stage in different years we may have lifted these canes up using the lifting wires to allow the bunches of grapes to dry out. But because it's so dry at present, we let them, we give the grapes shade. So allowing the canes to just fall all over the place and basically keep the berries in shade. So there, these are the things you've got to look for during the season and what is the best way to go. If you have to lift the canes at this stage, if it's a wet year, you may get sunburn on the grapes on the very hot days. So preferable at this stage to leave the canes down giving the grapes shade. Also we're looking for um, new growth and health signs of health within the vine. Uh, this year in particular we've had very, very, I'm not aware of any incidents of downy mildew or anything to do with moulds and fungus. Uh, very, very clean vine. So at this stage it's promising to be a really good year and one to look out for in the cellar doors. 2013 it will come under the vintage. So at this stage looking very good. We, we still don't know. Um, our main enemy at this point is wet weather. Okay, hope this is helping to give you an understand of what understanding of what it is like to run a grapevine. We're, we're constantly looking for indicators of health within the vines.